Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lamaser here and welcome back to another Rocket League video and in this one guys I'm gonna be showing you another five secrets glitches easter eggs Just continuing that series of trying to bring you guys things that you've never known about Rocket League Because again Rocket League when you just look at it seems like such a simple game But as you start to dig into going behind maps looking at the true meanings of names for items There is a ton of secret stuff and it is always a lot of fun to look at But anyways, we have five more facts that I don't think most of you will Will know and if you do know them just keep in mind that a lot of people don't and this is helpful for them but other than that guys again remember to leave a like if you enjoy the video and without further ado let's get into it here Alright guys, so starting this episode off strong, I have a very funny little secret fact. I'm honestly not sure what to call this one. It may be a glitch, but it is really weird, and I think I need your guys' help explaining why exactly this is. But anyways, for this fact, it actually occurs on a bunch of maps in Rocket League, and some of the maps you can do this on are ones like DFH Stadium, Beckwith Park, and even Manfield Stadium. But anyways, if you want to see this little thing yourself, you just want to load up a private match or something and just jump right in, and then go straight to spectate so that you can roam around the map. Now once you are in that mode, simply go to either of the nets and you'll see these weird little lights on top of them. Now these of course are just there for aesthetic, but that's not the main thing we're looking at. The thing we want to take a look at is when you go inside the light. Um, yeah, for some reason, the inside of all of these lights is actually the opposite color of what it is on the outside. So when we look at the orange ones here, of course they come in blue, but if we then go over to the other side, and this is actually a little different from the previous one, when you look inside the light, they are for some reason red. Now I have absolutely no clue why these are different colors. So this is exactly where I need your guys' help, because right now I can only theorize as to why these colors are here, and the main theory that I've come up with is that these are scrapped textures and instead of just changing them or deleting them entirely they just decided to put it on the inside of these lights instead now something that supports this theory even more is by looking at gameplay of the alpha version of the game that's right guys as you can see instead of having orange and blue sides it was instead red and blue sides so the inside of these lights, these leftover textures, are most likely actually from back when in Rocket League the teams were planned to be red and blue. Now that would just be really freaking weird. Like just take a moment here to look at this map right here and imagine if this was the normal colors for Rocket League. But either way, again, it's just a theory and unless we get some news from Psyonix, it's probably going to stay that way. As for the next fact on this list, this one is a very, very funny glitch. Now a bunch of people commented on my previous videos telling me about this glitch and I've never known about it before then. And unfortunately just too many people commented to just give one person credit so thank you to those of you who brought this to my attention because it is just a very funny, very random glitch. But anyways, to do this glitch, and it's a very simple one to do, like anybody can do this one, even a freaking toddler could do this one because literally all that you need to do is press a few buttons. But basically what you do is just go into training and then go straight over to free play. Now once it loads up just freaking take a look at all the blank white textures. I mean the sides are white, the lines on the ground are white, even the flags in the back have been turned white because of course this is free play. I mean that's how it's meant to be. You're not supposed to be on any one side. However there is a way to just completely mess this up entirely. Now to do that simply go into your options and then under gameplay scroll all the way down to color blind mode and put that on. Now already you can see the color appear on the left and right side but if you turn that off and go all the way back here yeah you can turn the entire map back into its original colors I mean come on that is just awesome I know it's pointless I know it doesn't get you freaking free keys or something like that but just being able to do this is actually a lot of fun and it does make the free play feel just a little bit cooler so yeah definitely go out and try this on your own and also show it to your friends because I'm sure you'll get a good reaction out of it as for the third fact for this episode, I will say that this one is a little bit more obvious, but it is really cool and kind of a shocking one if you never knew about it. Now for this fact, instead of going on to Beckwith Park or something like that, you want to go to any of the variations of DFH Stadium. Now with this stadium, we've already talked about how cool it is, with the giant stands and how it makes you feel like you're in this super intense Rocket League game, but with those giant stands and all of the egg people that sit in them, did you know that they're actually floating in midair? 
Yeah, and that's not even all of it. Literally the entire field is just floating there. I had absolutely no idea this was a thing. I mean, everything about this map is just made to look like it's on ground. You have these giant freaking skyscrapers in the background. I mean, of course you've got to be on the ground, right? But no, those giant skyscrapers are actually like twice as tall as you think they are. Like, just look at this one. How huge is this building? I mean, is it going into space? It's just gigantic. It's honestly just crazy, but then when we look down, you can see that there's like street lights or cars or something moving back and forth down there. And you can also kind of make out what I believe are like really small skyscrapers compared to the other ones. And they're a little blurry, but I think that's what those are. But still, this entire giant stadium is just floating in midair. Now, I have no idea how these eggs or cars even get to this place, but it's definitely 100% a very cool thing to know about. Now getting into the second to last fact on this list, this one is a bit of an old easter egg and I'm assuming a bunch of you already know about it, but eventually I had to include it for those of you who don't know about it, because it is one of the coolest secrets in the game. But anyways, for this easter egg, just go into your garage and go all the way over to trails and find the one that is called the money trail. Now with this trail, of course, you see a ton of coins and thousands of dollar bills flying in the back, but if you go into a game and then go into theater and pause this trail, you can very clearly see that every single one one of these dollar bills has a picture of a puffer fish on it. Now, if you're new to this whole pufferfish easter egg thing, because there are actually a couple other easter eggs with this same exact fish with that weird face, including an actual version of him on Aquadome swimming around the outside of the map, but basically what the pufferfish is, is a reference to a power-up that was in a game that Psyonix never released, but it essentially became the game Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars, which was then the prequel to Rocket League as we know it. So yeah, I'm assuming this pufferfish was just like a favorite character or design and overall, it's very cool to see them bring it back in multiple ways, and this is definitely one of them, because if you never thought to pause this boost and just take a closer look at it, you would never know that this little easter egg is even there. Now as for the fifth and final secret of this episode, this one is very interesting because for every Rocket League player on Xbox One and I believe PS4, this secret comes from the very first thing you ever see after buying the game. Now if you play Rocket League on PC, this is still a very interesting thing because it just kind of makes no sense. But anyways, for this secret, I'm talking about the very beginning image that shows up when you click play. Now for a lot of people, this picture looks 100% normal. However, if you decide to take a look at the boosts, you can never look at this image the same way again. I mean, just look at where these freaking 100% boost pads are. What are they doing? They're in the middle of the field. Why would they ever be put in the middle of the field? It honestly just makes no sense. Every other boost pad is exactly how it is in the game. The ones in front of the net are completely normal, the ones on the outside are completely normal, but for some reason, and I cannot tell you why for the life of me, they put these 100% boost pads there. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh this is just an early image, they took it from the alpha or something like that. No. Before the game ever looked this polished, the boost pads were all always exactly where they are in the game as we know it today. So I have no idea where this image came from and why the boosts are just in the weirdest spots. But either way, I'm just, I'm sorry because you're never going to be able to unsee this one. But anyways guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to leave a like down below. It only takes a second and it helps me out a ton. And do not forget to leave a comment of a secret fact or glitch that you know about that I probably don't know because you might just get featured in the next episode. But other than that, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm the Llamaser, and I will see you guys next time.